what's up? Today I want to share with you my recipe for spaghetti squash papuzzatia. That's right. Spaghetti squash, very healthy, very nutritious. These beauties came right out of my garden. And I'm going to doll them up with that uh, Greek meat sauce and a light bechamel on top. It is unbelievably good and not that hard to make at all. So, first things first, we're going to preheat our oven 400 degrees Fahrenheit or about 200 degrees Celsius. Get that off and going. One less thing to worry about. Now, these babies here. My spaghetti squash. Very easy to prepare these. What you're going to do is very carefully, you're going to cut these down right down the middle, just like that. And you're going to expose the halves here with, uh, with the seeds. So this is where you want to be really, really careful because at this stage of the game, you don't want to be going to the hospital or anything like that. So please, just please be careful. If you find that your spaghetti squash is too hard, just flip it and do half and half. The next thing we're going to do is scoop out the insides or the seeds. We really don't need these. So I'm just going to take these and real carefully just scoop them out. You can even save the seeds if you want and uh, use them to plant them next year, which is what I do. And just do this. Nothing complicated at all. That's perfect. You just don't want roasted seeds in your spaghetti squash. All right, that's perfect. My spaghetti squash has been hollowed out. The next part of this is very simply, I'm going to take a little bit of my Greek extra virgin olive oil and I'm just going to drizzle it on top here because what we're going to do before anything else, we're going to roast them. I'm going to take a little bit of salt, put it throughout, a little bit of pepper as well. Pepper makes everything better. Put that in there. The trick now to roasting off spaghetti squash is to put them cut side down just like this. Nothing complicated. Perfect. Done. These now will go into our, our oven 400 degrees for about 45 minutes or so. I will tell you the reason that we put them cut side down is I want the excess moisture and liquid from my squash to drain out. I don't want it to pool like here on, on the inside where it's hollow because it'll wind up not roasting but steaming and we don't want that. So, All right, so now it's been about almost an hour. My spaghetti squash is done. It's finished the, the first part of its cooking, which is roasting. And there's nothing to this. And all I'm going to do is just very carefully, because they're still hot, flip this over. And look how beautiful these look. They've caramelized. They've completely cooked. Oh my gosh, the smell. You get the sweet sugars of the squash. Absolutely fantastic. Let me turn this around like this. Absolutely gorgeous. So now, in keeping with the spaghetti squash, I'm just going to take these and I'm just going to ruffle these up a little bit, bringing out the spaghetti in them. And see what's happening here. You just take them with a, a, a fork and just do this. And it just ruffles them up and turns them into like this spaghetti-like uh, consistency. And I'm trying to do this so you guys can see. And look at this. And there it is. They come into like little strands of, uh, of spaghetti. Let me pull this one out. It's a little too caramelized. And just keep doing this. And that's it. So you don't need much of these. Because even if you don't do this part here, it's totally fine. Absolutely not a problem at Oh, that's going to leave a mark. And not a problem at all. So just do this and this. It's nice to work with the fruits of my labor, you know, from the garden. I absolutely love this. I am epic, huge on, um, on farm to table. And, you know, I go back to the, uh, to the times when my, my dad was uh, in his garden, and I just absolutely loved it. And I don't think there are too many Greeks that don't have their own little vegetable garden, no matter how big or how small. All right, so now, these are spaghettied up, so to speak. 
The next part of this, and full disclosure, I have some Greek style, my meat sauce, left over from another recipe. Now, don't panic. Don't get all uptight. I am going to include the link to this in the description below. It's a very, very simple and classic Greek meat sauce. Now, because I have it left over, it's a sin to waste food. It's just the way it is. And why not? So I'm just going to take this, which there's nothing wrong with this at all. And I'm going to fill in my, my spaghetti squash, just like that. Now, do you see where I'm going with this? This is absolutely fun on an all. Absolutely awesome. Just keep going like this. And this is like, come give me a hug on a plate right now. Oh, a little meat sauce there, not a big deal. And continue on here and just fill them up. Now, where else can you get like two spaghetti squashes for four people? Well, for normal people anyway. And keep going. And like I said, never ever waste food. It's a terrible, terrible thing. Somewhere around the world, there's somebody that, believe me, would like commit a crime to eat like this. All right, so that's perfect right there, just like that. So now the last part of this is the bechamel on top. And I'm going to show you a really easy and quick, foolproof bechamel because a lot of you write into me and they say, holy crap, like my bechamel, you know, looks like porridge or, you know, oatmeal or something. Not the way it's supposed to be. And I'm going to show you a really easy way. Let me fire this up. I'm going to take, first and foremost, about three to four tablespoons of my Greek extra virgin olive oil. Here's the thing. A lot of you will use butter, and that's fine. If you prefer to use uh, butter, that will work as well. But for me, I'm just going to use the traditional olive oil. I'm going to take now three to four tablespoons of flour, and I'm going to add that in there, just like that. Nothing complicated at all. And the way I do most of my bechamels, I do them with a whisk. It gives it a much, much creamier, uh, much smoother consistency. Now for this, you're going to have to cook this now for a couple, three minutes just to get the, um, that floweriness flavor or that taste, going to get rid of it. Also, you're going to leave your oven on at 400. Just let it go because we're going to put these back in the oven uh, very, very soon. There's something really special about a bechamel that's made with like olive oil. Now, the next thing, two cups of milk are going to go in here. Just pour it in there, nice and easy. As you stir this, it's going to tighten up. I'm going to take a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper will go in there, and just let that tighten up. Nothing to this at all. The next part of this, and the kicker to all Greek bechamels is nutmeg. And for this, I am using, a, I'm going to use about an eighth of a pod. I prefer to grate mine fresh. You can also use like an eighth of a teaspoon of the already pre-grated stuff. Not a big deal at all. And just real quick, just grate this up. You don't need much at all. Like I said, an eighth of a teaspoon and you're going to be golden. Perfect. Just like that. Oh yeah. This is fantastic. My bechamel is pretty much ready to go. I'm going to turn this off now and I'm going to add about close to a cup of coarsely grated Gruyere. I'm going to save some for the top after. Oh my gosh. That's what you want. A nice Thick consistency, absolutely phenomenal, perfect. Now, I'm going to take my tablespoon, and I'm just taking my bechamel and pouring it on top of my meat sauce, which is in my, uh, in my spaghetti squash. So look at that, that's pretty much ready to go. 
They don't have to be perfect, but they're going to be so freaking delicious. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Just like that. Now, leave that there. I'm going to take a little bit more of my Gruyere Graviera that's being coarsely cut up. And I'm just going to put it on top just like that. Perfect. Oh my God, this is so delicious. All right, back into my 400 degree oven. This is going to go just enough until the top becomes a little like GBD, golden brown and delicious. So keep an eye on it. All righty, these are right out of the oven. Actually, about five minutes or so. My kitchen smells in here like they should bottle it and like put it behind your ears or something because this is like fantastic. My spaghetti squash papuzzaca or my baked stuffed Greek style spaghetti squash, ooh, I don't know, we'll figure it out, are done to absolute perfection. The, the squashes are twice baked. They baked originally. And then they baked for a little bit afterwards, just enough to get the bechamel and the cheese melted. Now check this out when I try, I'm going to cut it open for you guys to see. Like, just, just look at this. Just look at that. I cut it open, and then I got the waft of that Greek meat sauce, you know, the cinnamon, just, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to take a little bite of this here with the bechamel, and I added the Gruyere in the bechamel. Oh, that's absolutely fantastic. That's a money shot right there, baby. That's it right there. <laughs> Oh my god. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Ooh. That was so good. That squash is so sweet. The meat sauce, the bechamel, the gruyere. It just adds such a beautiful, not only flavor, but a texture in your mouth. It makes you feel good. Now take this, serve it up with like a nice side salad or maybe even like a little bit of rice, some bread, and it is absolutely to die for. I can't tell you, like, I'm just a happy guy right now. And it's really not that complicated to make at all. So my friends, that's it for this beyond delicious episode. I have to tell you, I'm tooting my own horn, but I don't care. It is so freaking delicious. It is unbelievable. Thank you so much for your time and watching this. If you like this, please hit that like button, subscribe, or consider subscribing if you haven't already. Check me out online for this recipe and many others at kensgreektable.com. I know I can't stop smiling. And until next time, be careful, stay safe, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.